To public safety concerns on Block Island. After a second deadly crash in less than a week, New Shoreham's town council called an emergency meeting last night, one that's scheduled to resume later today. Councilors heard from those who respond to this uh, increased number of crashes and the impact that it has on crews on the island. Alexander Leslie joining us this morning with more details on that discussion. Well, responding to any type of medical emergency has been difficult on Block Island right now, and town councilors say this is in part due to rescue personnel being reduced due to the pandemic. Now, right now, the town of New Shoreham is on track to outpace the number of moped accidents on the island that had occurred in 2018. Then there were 46 from June 1st to Labor Day, and now there are already 44. The most recent being Saturday when a 22-year-old's moped crashed head-on with an SUV. Tracy Fredericks a rescue squad captain in New Shoreham says what happened with Saturday's deadly crash was exactly what they've all been dreading. She called the scene on Saturday horrific. So that does take physical energy of everybody, um, police, the EMTs, anybody else who's helping us, um, the medical center, you know, um, nobody ever wants to deal with that. And we just find that it's so unnecessary and it's, it's just so sad for all of these people involved. Now coming up in about 30 minutes, hear from the leading doctor on Block Island who explains another added challenge in treating patients that need to be airlifted off the island. Live in Pawtucket, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News. Tonight, an emergency meeting about moped safety will continue on Block Island. The new Shoreham Town Council met last night after a second deadly crash on the island in less than a week prompted a lot of concern from residents. Local EMS, fire, and medical professionals weighing in on the impact that it's had on the island this summer. Alexandra Leslie joins us live with our top local story. Well, Dr. Thomas Workup says responding to medical events on the island can be difficult already and adding concerns from the pandemic and it can be overwhelming. Now that was echoed by Tracy Fredericks, a rescue captain in New Shoreham. She says what happened with Saturday's deadly crash was exactly what they've all been dreading. A 22 year old Cranston man died when his moped collided head on with an SUV. He was riding with another female passenger who sustained non-life threatening injuries. The town's fire chief says from June 1st to date, there have been 44 moped accidents on the island. That's almost as many crashes as there were from June 1st to Labor Day in 2018 alone. Now, crashes with mopeds this year have resulted in 52 patients. Of those, six have needed to be flown to the mainland for serious medical care, which Dr. Workup says has been a challenge due to fog. It's, it's just another task. And then to try to go back for our healthcare team to go evaluate and treat other patients on the heels of these type of tragedies can be really taxing. And the difficulty for us is the season is not over. Now, counselors went into a closed session last night to discuss potential legal actions they might take. The emergency meeting resumes at 5 o'clock tonight on Zoom, and it's open to the public. Live in Pawtucket, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.